Greta Tyson was a Danish actress and pinup model who became known as the Danish Marilyn Monroe. Her captivating beauty and charismatic presence made her a popular figure in the entertainment industry. Join us as Facts First presents Take a Closer Look at Greta Tyson. She will surely surprise you. Early Life Born March 30, 1933, in Denmark, Greta Tyson was raised in a middle-class family. She developed a passion for performing arts at a young age and began studying ballet and acting in her teenage years. Her talent soon caught the attention of scouts, leading her to embark on a journey that made her a beloved figure in entertainment. Her breakthrough came in the early 50s, when she won the title of Miss Denmark. This victory opened doors in the modeling industry, where she quickly gained recognition for her striking looks and graceful demeanor. She began appearing in fashion magazines and advertisements, becoming a sought-after model in Denmark and Europe. Greta Tyson's interest in performing was sparked early. Her parents recognized her natural talent and encouraged her. One of the key influences on Tyson's interest was her exposure to ballet. The discipline, grace, and expressiveness of ballet captivated her, and she found joy in the physicality and the storytelling. Her parents would often take her to see plays and movies, too, exposing her to different genres and styles of storytelling. Winning the title of Miss Denmark in a national beauty pageant not only boosted her confidence, but also opened many doors for her career-wise. As she continued to pursue her passion, she discovered a deep love for acting. She recognized that acting allowed her to fully immerse herself in different characters, to explore various emotions, and to connect with audiences on a deeper level. What made Greta decide to head to Hollywood? Greta Tyson's decision to head to Hollywood was influenced by a combination of factors. One was her ambition to make a name for herself in the entertainment industry on a global scale. Tyson's success in the modeling industry in Europe also played a role in her decision. As a successful model, she had gained recognition and opportunities in Denmark and other European countries, but she wanted to expand her horizons and reach a wider audience. Hollywood offered the chance to work with renowned filmmakers, actors, and production companies. Furthermore, the allure of Hollywood's glamorous lifestyle and the promise of fame and fortune were undoubtedly influential in her decision. It's worth noting that during the 50s and 60s, Hollywood was experiencing a period of growth and international prominence. Numerous European actors and actresses, including Bridget Bardot and Sophia Loren, had found success in Hollywood, further inspiring Tyson to follow them. In 1956, Greta officially made the move. Her stunning looks and natural charisma made her an instant success in the American film industry. She made her debut in the film Three Blondes in His Life in 1957, playing a seductive femme fatale. Her performance garnered critical acclaim and established her as a rising star. The film is a crime drama directed by Leon Chuluk. Greta plays Lily, one of the titular blondes. It revolves around a private detective who becomes entangled with three women, all of whom happen to be blondes. Tyson's character, Lily, is one of the women vying for Abbott's attention. The film follows a typical film noir plotline with intrigue, deception, and romantic entanglements. While it might not be as well known as some of Tyson's other films, it remains a part of her filmography, showcasing her talent and beauty on screen. Her career gained further momentum in the late 50s and early 60s, as she appeared in numerous films across various genres. Some of her notable films during this period include Terror is a Man, The Beast of Budapest, and The Woman and the Hunter. But it was her collaborations with iconic comedians that truly cemented her status as a Hollywood star. She appeared alongside Jerry Lewis in The Ladies' Man, where her comedic timing and charm captivated audiences. She also starred opposite Bob Hope in The Private Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell, showcasing her ability to hold her own alongside legendary funny men. Outside of her film career, she was a popular pinup model, gracing the covers of various magazines and becoming a symbol of beauty and glamour. Her iconic blonde hair, hourglass figure, and captivating smile made her an idol for many. She was one of the hottest women of her time. Greta's personal life Despite her success, Tyson faced personal hardships, she endured a tumultuous marriage and divorce, which took a toll on her mental and emotional well-being. But she persevered and pursued her passion for acting and modeling. As the 60s ended, her career gradually slowed down. She made occasional appearances in films and television shows, 
but chose to focus more on her personal life. She married her second husband, Theodore Gunther, in 1971, and the couple settled down in California. In later years, Tyson embraced a quieter life, away from the spotlight. She dedicated her time to philanthropic endeavors, supporting various charitable organizations and causes. She also enjoyed spending time with her family and close friends, finding joy in the simple pleasures of life. One notable cause she supported was animal welfare. She was actively involved with animal rights organizations and worked towards the betterment of animal lives. She also expressed support for children's charities and initiatives. While specific details about her involvement in this area aren't widely available, it is known she had a soft spot for children and showed a willingness to contribute to causes that aimed to improve their lives. Greta passed away January 6, 2018, at age 84. Her legacy as a talented actress and timeless beauty lives on, inspiring future generations in the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, she embodied grace and elegance. It's worth noting that her contributions to the industry during the 50s and 60s left a lasting impact. Her roles in numerous films, including her notable appearances in Journey to the Seventh Planet and Terror is a Man, earned her a place in cinema history. And despite the limited info about her later years, her work in the film industry continues to be appreciated by fans and movie enthusiasts. Greta's Hollywood Legacy Greta became known as the Danish Marilyn Monroe. While her career was primarily focused on acting, she also made a mark as a pinup model, posing for numerous magazines and becoming a symbol of beauty and glamour. Her image as a blonde bombshell contributed to her enduring popularity. Today, she's remembered as one of the iconic figures of the golden age of Hollywood and pinup culture. Though she may not be as well known as some of her contemporaries, her contributions to the entertainment industry and her status as a sex symbol have left a lasting impact. To finish this memoriam off, let's take a look at a funny story involving Greta and Bob Hope. The two were shooting a comedy sketch for one of Hope's television shows. During the scene, Greta was supposed to play a glamorous femme fatale, seducing Bob Hope's character. But as luck would have it, Greta accidentally tripped over a cable and stumbled into a rather ungraceful fall just moments before shooting the scene. The crew gasped, worried that Greta might be injured. But being the professional she was, Greta quickly got up, brushed herself off, and with a mischievous smile, turned to Bob Hope and said, quote, Well, I guess I've fallen for you already, haven't I? The unexpected comment left everyone on set in stitches, including Bob Hope himself, who burst out laughing. The impromptu remark not only diffused any tension caused by the fall, but also added an extra layer of humor to the scene. Greta's ability to find humor in her own mishap and effortlessly incorporate it into the comedy sketch only showcased her wit and charm. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Greta Tyson got her start on the beauty pageant circuit? Let us know in the comments section below.